second demo, and I'm very glad to be here. Uh, I actually work uh, on the sixth floor of this building, so it's not uh, a big commute for me to be here. Uh, and so, yeah, I was, I was, the, the agenda is going to be very short, so introduction, Kickoff basics, demo, and Q&A. And actually, I'm going to retell what um, Tanya told, but with QR code, so this way you can take a picture and get uh, the information. So first, who am I? Uh, I'm Arno, I am uh, the database team lead at John Trading. I'm uh, passionate about tech. And for those who don't know what John Trading is, we are a leading data and research driven trading business based in Chicago, that's the quarter. We have over uh, 10 global offices and we trade uh, all asset classes, uh, all time horizons, so not only high frequency, but also low frequency, uh, etc. So that's me, and that's me in SQL. Actually, it's, <laughs> it's my start date adjunct, put in ClickHouse, and it shows you that ClickHouse can calculate uh, my years of service at Jump and my years of service uh, in IT, so which is about eight years, I think uh, 23 years total, nearly 24 today. Uh, and I check with OpenAI lines up, so it's it's correct. Uh, and so you can do a lot of things in SQL. I try to show you some SQL. I hope that people know what SQL is here. I hope so. And so uh, let's start with ClickHouse. Uh, ClickHouse is a database, Tanya introduced it, created in 2009. It's a colon store. And there's a very interesting blog article at ClickHouse Inc. Uh, that shows all those links. And so you can scan this QR code and then go there and goes to their blog, which is very nice. And then you if you're interested in uh, scientific research and research paper, this paper is very nice. There's also uh, a VLDB short presentation of 10 minutes and also more detailed, probably 30 minutes, in other Kikos meetup in Guangzhou, so in China. I'd recommend that uh, if you want to know more about it. Uh, you may ask why Kikos. So it's, to my point of view, uh, for having uh, tested it uh, thoroughly, it's fast, it's open source, Apache 2 license for those that know the detail, it is stable, it is one executable, and you can get it with this curl there, I didn't put the, the QR code. Uh, it runs everywhere, it has a lot of likes on GitHub, 36.6. Uh, actually, 36.7. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it's a no presentation because uh, the maybe I need to switch to the, the latest one. But currently, the number of contributors is actually 2,038, and, and you can actually uh, go to Fiddle and, and rather simple query. Uh, maybe I'll switch to that actually. Uh, let me check if I read to my history. Then, uh, maybe, yeah, let's see. I think that may be the real one. Yeah, it's the new one. So, there was actually, there's a way to know about it. You go to Fiddle and fiddle.tickers.com and then you can do. In SQL, select consta from system contributors. And the answer today is 2038. I verify. It's still correct. <laughs> and um, so, another QR code uh, for the use cases, also uh, in kickers.com. Uh, it's a real time data warehouse. And it shines in observability, uh, metrics, and logs. Uh, business intelligence and also vector search. For example, a company like OpenAI uses it and presented that uh, uh, San Francisco meetup. So that's for the short introduction on uh, ClickHost. And then now it's demo time. Uh, and so what I'm presenting uh, today as a demo, and I take a risk because it's a real demo, yeah. it can fail. I, that, uh, I tested uh, a bunch of time, it can't fail. Um, 
what we're going to demonstrate today is real-time analytics. We're going to demonstrate that it is possible to have a traditional OFTP database. Today I'm going to uh, use MySQL, which is a very nice one. Postgres is famous these days, but it works with MariaDB, it works with MongoDB, it works with SQL Server, Oracle, and uh, you have this component that basically does kind of data teleportation, which is called replication. And so whenever you write to the left, you find in the right in ClickHouse, uh, and uh, then you can run analytics, you can run queries, and so you can unleash the power of ClickHouse to for analytics. So. I'm going to switch to the demo. And so, I have uh, set up a demo with Docker Compose. Can I see uh, a Docker file? Sorry? Can I see a Docker file? Uh, later. <laughs> later. I can show it in private. Uh, it's on GitHub, actually. So if you add, you could picture the, the QR code, you would go to the URL, and you would be able to run Docker Compost up on the Docker directory. And so I run that. And again, there's a probability of failure. Uh, and actually, it's not failing, so that's good. Uh, and uh, I told you that, so this is the component that's running, the, the piece in the middle, right? That does the, the replication between the two. And on the left, I have my SQL. Right, and it's up now, so the demo is working. And then we show that the component in the middle is working. It's stopped now. So it has done the replication. And on the right here on my screen, I have Kikos. Then Kikos is up too. And so what can I do with that? I can go to my screen, which is up in here. And I can go to Kikos, and they both have the same database. Uh, I may want to uh, enlarge this. Okay, so I'm in a database here, and I can, I'm in my skirt now. And I can do show tables. So I have customers, employees, etc. And, uh, David. How are you? Uh, what is the Overnight to this panel. Finishing to speak on it. Yeah, yeah, I've, it's just in different order now. But so I'm, I'm back to my script and I've clicked those ears so I can rearrange that like this, like it was before. Okay? And so it's a real demo. It's not recorded, obviously. And if I go there, I can run some SQL. And I can run things like updates, I can run things like delete, I can run things like alter table, I can run things like insert, and I'm gonna demonstrate that. So, let's do a promotion. Let's move every employee to, um, so I have the employees here, the list of employees. You can do select, so it's all one select star from employees. Yes. And I'm going to do column, so here, for example, Gerald Martin, right? Sales representative. I'm going to promote it senior, so, uh, and, and all the employees. I'm going to do an update here. I Um, so it's just that I have to like this to swap control C, go here, and then run that. And you will notice that a bit of activity here. And now, if I'm doing uh, select stuff employees, being promoted to senior sales rep, this, right? That's in my sphere. What do you think will happen in Chickens? 
everybody will be promoted too because it's a real time data warehouse. So if I use select star from employees final, final is a little bit of a tweak here, then you can see that it lines up senior as well. So now, what can I do next? I can do more complicated stuff. I can count the payment, the customers, the employees, and delete some of them, and see what happens. So I'm going to run that on the left side, on the mask side here, right? And so I have less employees. I have 23, now I have 22. But I can demonstrate that before the delete. I have 23, now I have 32. What can I do here? I can just count it on the clicker side. Here. So I'm going to do the trick as well. I'm going to set final one. And I'm going to run that. And basically, I have some 22 too. So my elites have been replicated. What can I do next? Um, I can alter and add a higher date. Okay, I can do higher. I can do that, and then if I do select star for some employees, uh, maybe reserve some of them for the after the after the talk to the degree. Yeah, I can start it. Okay, and then you can see that it should have worked. But yeah, so that's basically it, and so I think that's the end of my presentation. Right. And uh, yeah, maybe one thing, one last slide. Jump is growing aggressively. So if you want to scan the QR code, that's right. That's it. <laughs>